So I was 14 and my mom had moved uh, and she kind of just left me behind. Well, she left me at a friend's house and that ended up not really working out. So I ended up at Station 7. Station 7 is fundamentally a temporary shelter for youth 11 through 17 where we provide a space for young people to be when they cannot be at home. We work with primarily runaway and homeless youth with a goal to reunify or stabilize uh, housing in one way or the other. I was just on and off the streets. I couldn't really stay in school. Um, it was really hard to <laughs> keep myself on track because it was just me. Ended up meeting a guy and um, I ended up getting pregnant and then having the child. Um, so after I got my apartment and all that, um, I ended up losing it again and my life kind of <laughs> just, I was, I was 16, I mean, I don't even know how I kept the apartment for as long as I did. So I ended up moving all my stuff out of the apartment and um, I remember just loading it all up in the truck and getting dropped off at Station 7 at like, I'm sorry. About this for so long. <laughs> like nine at night. And uh, I can't remember if I like had to bring some of my stuff from the apartment and they let me store it there. <sighs> but yeah, that was the only place I could go at the time. We run the crisis line and the texting line for Looking Glass. So we oftentimes are the first stop for community members when they are experiencing conflict and they are in need of knowledge and resources. They were really supportive. Like there were always counselors and people to talk to. Well, because of Looking Glass, I mean, definitely like saved me from a lot because I didn't have anywhere else to go so I don't know if I'd be alive today honestly <laughs> if Looking Glass wasn't there for me. Looking Glass is nationally accredited, state licensed. We have dozens of independent reviews of our work all the time. We're constantly doing quality improvement assessments, looking at data points, and we serve thousands of children, youth, and families each year. So the data and the numbers are massive. And what was really striking to me is how important it is to remember as we look at all this data that behind every one of those one of a thousand numbers is a story. Now I'm a volunteer at Station 7 um, in the evenings. I, don't, I help, you know, talk to the kids. Oh, I think it's a wonderful place. And as I listened to Angel, it really brought home to me the fact that there's all this number and assessment going on, and what we're really talking about in each one of those is the way we touch individual lives and help them along the way.